first thing I'm going to do. So I'm just letting her know that I have something that she might be interested in. Because if I can't get her attention on me, I can't help her. Ooh, but then we, then we saw something outside. So I'm not going to pull. Yes, good girl. So I can say, what do you think? Is the treat, is what I just gave you good enough to override this? And sometimes we can help the dogs by just limiting their ability to move so much. If their feet get moving too fast, the brain just moves faster and faster. So I'm just trying real quick just to feed her some treats, get her to move into what we call search or seek mode, which is a primal, just see if I can get her to start to focus a little on me. Good. So I can get her to calm down. So I'm just feeding her, feeding her, feeding her, trying to ignite something in her. A milk bone, a dry old milk bone, ain't going to cut it with a stressed dog. It's just not valuable enough. If they can close their mouth, she's just a little too stressed. If once they close the mouth and they get real still, that's what you're looking for. That's that great place in a dog's brain where he truly is sort of in his most doggy frame of mind as far as something fabulous is gonna happen. That's when you have a chance to really where those stress hormones are being replaced by happy hormones and happy, which is what we call, which is actually dopamine. Dopamine coming up, cortisol going down. Even though I know she's still stressed and I know she's not, she's only been here such a short time and, uh, and spent a lot of time kenneled. Um, she wants help. And right now it's just about just feeding her, feeding her, giving, you know, very quickly, reinforcing that, oh, isn't this better? Oh, isn't this better? And oh, it's so nice that you're here because I feel a little safer. She feels safe enough to put her bottom on the ground. Dog that can put his bottom on the ground must feel safe enough. 